You know I invented electricity. I know. Well, I'm sensing a little electricity right here. Didn't Ben Franklin have syphilis? <laughs> yes, but I don't. <laughs> Character customization. Please use your keyboard to enter a name. This isn't doing anything? Oh, I think this is the point. It's not doing anything. Alright, that looks good. How about, uh... How about, uh... I'm so bad at making names now. I used to be so good at this. But now, I feel like... I've, I've diluted the... I've diluted it too much. I've I've made up too many names in my life. Where now I'm just sitting here going like, I don't know, uh, Fred1? How about, uh... Like slightly... Slightly... Like, slightly sharp. Extremely sharp. Moderately... Well, now I'm just naming cheeses. Minced meat. Minced meat? Minced meat? Is it minced meat or is it minced meat? Minced meat. I like it. Class. All right, this is important. Data din. Formatter. Resolutionary. Sorcerer. Or random master. <laughs> I feel like this is like the the subject line of a company email at a tech company. Like, yeah. Don't please don't say this stuff. Don't call us this. A scoundrel who specializes in critical hits, backstabs and parries, favors luck. I can't play the... I'm not going to play the joke character right now. Should I... I don't know. This. I feel like I'm going to get my ass kicked. Four strength? Just do it. It's a joke game. You're going to be fine. It's a joke game. You're fine. It's assassin slash rogue. It's not a joke. Oh. I kind of just want a shitload of health. I think I just want a bunch of health. It's boring, but whatever. You are a joke. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. So this is like parries and backstabs. You're gonna get me killed. Whatever. It is called Nostalgia. Where the wait, wait, cut, cut, cut. Was that your customization screen? Oh, oh, mighty save me. What's I don't know what you are, but you're no hero. So, I'm not playing the intro. What the hell? Just get good at parrying? Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. And so it oh. was the would-be hero became. Had it dignity, How do I move? it would impale itself on its own appendages and rid us <laughs> of its pixelated shame. Okay. So there's a dodge roll. Actually feels pretty good. Stamina bar. Anything else I need to know? That's all. Hey, that's it. Just literally give me a dodge roll with iframes. Give me a light and heavy attack and I will beat your game. I promise you. <laughs> Stir, if Stir looks over at this stream, he's going to think I'm playing modded Elden Ring. He's going to be like, what the fuck is this? Where were these cool mods? The confused stick figure would find no answers in the narrator's library. Alright, I'm gonna the die. Spreading pixelization had twisted everything and everyone into retro decay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It's, it, you're supposed to lose during the tutorial. It's like every game that's ever come out that's in the same genre. You die, and you wake up, and it's like... It's like, see? Death is not the end. And then you go back, and I'm gonna come back here with like three. Okay, I died. I saw that um, scripted death. And so the stick figure proved its ineptitude. Okay. Pretty good. So now what happens? Let's see. There we go. The audacity. Okay, so you're. So I, so I died. All right, I did. 
I thought it was gonna do the thing that they all do. Does everything respawn? Everything does respawn. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What about parries? Okay, that is a parry. Try, do I dare attempt to try to figure out the parry system in this game? Let's see. All right, that's not bad. It's pretty good. It's, a, it's actually pretty forgiving. But here's the big question. Can you parry on stairs? It's way better than Elden Ring. Way better. Why is there no face cam on? Because I don't feel like having it on. That's it. End of discussion. <laughs> oh, giga chat. Turn back. Maybe I should. Oh fuck, that hurt a lot, guys. That hurt a lot, man. God damn it. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina to swing again. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh no, <laughs> he's still in the tutorial. <laughs> oh shit. He is actually still in the tutorial. He's still in the tutorial. Judging by the four reactions to why there's no face cam, there was Giga Chad, bald, naked, or pregnant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, actually, back a year ago, I never had face cam on. That was a, that was a new thing. I would put it on for like horror games. It was pretty rare. And I don't know, I kinda, I kinda like it like this. It'll come on. I'm not gonna, you're never gonna not see my face again. Don't worry. Just like when I, when I want to. And that's it. A year ago? No, 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 no. Not, all right, I gotta, I mean face cam, not, now you're getting me killed. <laughs> you're gonna come back looking way different. <laughs> you know, that's actually kind of funny. That's, I'm gonna do that. Like, I hope you understand that. This is not some long, elaborate bit to turn my face cam on in like three months and be like, I don't know, like a fat guy or something. But like, I don't, but you know what I mean? Like, it's I, what if I had like a fucking different haircut? I had like different facial hair. I don't know. It might be kind of funny. Oh, stir! Raid from stir. What's going on, stir? Hope you're having fun in Elden Ring. I am playing a different game that looks kind of like modded Elden Ring, doesn't it? See, I decided that. Like, oh, no, dude, I'm not, like, into playing, like, the modded stuff anymore. I'm gonna play a video game whose sole purpose is to be a modded Elden Ring. You know, it's like, you know, but you know how it is. Were there any properties on this? Just physical defense. Oh, here's lore. A pixelating chest piece with a target painted where the heart would lie. After I was splintered, as so often as I was, I would be taken back to the repair shop and... Re restrung for the next encounter. This happened to my buddy Eric. That's kind of crazy. It seems like Eric's... A lot of stuff's happening to Eric lately. It's kind of weird because it seems like uh, five to ten thousand of you have this friend of yours named Eric that seems to do a lot of crazy shit. So that's kind of... Alright, I'm not gonna fucking lose again. Dude, don't talk about Eric. You don't even know him. I can't make references to Eric because he's not my friend. Oh, I see. Yeah, dude, don't wait. You don't know Eric. Like, why are you talk, talking about him? I know Eric. You don't. Stop bringing him up. You know, they, all right. That's true. I don't know. I don't know Eric. You do. Suddenly. You're going to die to the first boss. I haven't gotten there yet, so just wait. I know a lot of you are pre... Some of you guys have, like, a notepad that just has like Omega low so bad on it. So if you can just go like control, control, uh, control C, control. Just so you can paste it in here. You're ready for it. You have like a whole notepad ready. But I'm not gonna die to the first boss. So might as well clear your clipboard. Okay, this is the first boss. Everyone, everyone get your uh, copy and paste shit ready. A simple sentry transformed into an impossible adversary. One written to crush the stick figure on sight. Is there a crouch? <laughs> ah, a beacon. 
A conduit through which heroes once communed Bonfire? with Nostalgia. Don't you dare lay your pixels upon it. Bonfire. Okay, what about light the beacon? Do I go fight that? I'm gonna go fight that thing in the middle. By the almighty. Impossible. You're... You're... What in the void are you? Oh, you don't know what you are or why you're here. I don't here. know. Do you want me to guide you? Uh, I don't know. You are no hero, and I am no travel brochure. Now, I have no idea what your little gestures were meant to convey. Probably rude, but I will tell you what you are. Hmm. Proof that Nostalgia is dying. And yeah, what a stick person gesture. Can I level up? Okay, so tether. All right, level up. What do I do? Luck? 15 luck gets me a new ability. What, what, what should I do? I don't know. Luck? I mean, have vitality? Stamina? All right, I'm happy with that. I hope. Well, that was a good idea. All right, let's go. I'm going to go fight this fucking thing right in the middle. I'm excited. I didn't mean to press that. Reset. Reset it. What the fuck? What? Why is it over here? Why is it over here? I was not ready for this. There it is. All right. Hope you bet for me. I hope you bet for me because I beat it. I, oh, now all of a sudden everybody's freaking out. Everybody wants to change their bet. Yeah, sorry. When the, you can't, uh, if you're at the roulette table and it's spinning and you put it all on black and they say no more bets. Sorry. <laughs> it's so funny. I looked over and I saw the, it, that was an immediate change. When it was down to like half 20% health very quickly, it was like 200,000 points. And it jumped to like 3 million in one or two seconds. Memory is sacred? You are not worthy. Okay. Receive blessing. No! The hero was rejected. Oh, that's great. I love this walk. <laughs> this is, a, I love this. this. This reminds me of Demon Souls, the music. Of what do I do? So I wait for a swing. That hurt a lot. Fuck. Can I parry it? He's doing the yoinky splunky. I tried to dodge and it didn't work. I'm dodging and it didn't work. Spirit had a final form. A final form. Jesus. Oh, it's so long. Fuck. All right, I get it. It's not. It's not hard. Boss fights require timing and, and patience. At first, it might seem like there's no safe time to attack. But if you pay attention, a window will open. You just got Luigi. No, I got a tutorial message. There's a difference. It reminds me of the... Okay, I pressed it. I pressed dodge. What the hell? Ugh! Fuck! Oh, alright. You gotta be a little early. Ooh, the crits happen randomly. I like it. Let's go. This is fun. Wait, that might not be it. Finish him. Uh, 
Huh? Shield of Inspiration. He did it. These extra tutorial messages will now stop. The last hero of nostalgia is a mystery. What are you? What happened to this world? What is expected of you? You won't be handed the answers. Can you uncover them? This game is cool. Art flow alter. Like, uh, the, I, the pixel art and the not pixel art? The spirit's blessing. I like the style of this game. Um, it was undeniable that the scattered bundle of sticks remained pathetic, but something was amiss. The narrator, never confused, was curious. Look upon the world around you. What you have restored by your touch. A hero is known by their actions. Yes. Oh, yeah. I know what you are, or rather, what you might prove to be. You do not know yourself, though, do you? Memory of what was is vanishing, but do not despair. Through your journey, you may yet discover your nature. Your touch upon this beacon has caused a remembering of what was. That jagged blade you scavenged can you can you hear its whisper rummage through your belongings and mm. find it this relic has a pixelating memory if you can help the relic remember it will get stronger the location of its memory could be anywhere in the world relics in the correct location will quiver in your inventory to find the location listen to what it tells you see how this relic mentions an old man by standing beside the old man, selecting this relic, and choosing Remember. Oh. This is kind of cool. Spin Slash. Holy shit. As you remember different relics, you will gain permanent insight bonuses. So it's highly advanced. A lot of advantage to remembering relics, even if you don't equip them. But now this is just better. Cool. Remarkable. I had feared such depth to be lost forever. You may be whom I've been waiting for. Nostalgia is dying. The great forgetting is taking us all. The great we forgetting into pixelization and then oblivion. Heroes. The Great Ones, most especially, were meant to save Nostalgia, but they have forsaken their purpose. They now choke the arteries meant to carry memory back into our world's heart. I remember their failures, but I shall not lecture you. Who they were and what they That's did cool must be yours to discover, yours to make meaning from. The first great one wails from within the depths of Nostalgia's mind. Ooh, the, the, the big, the big bad luck. ones. Ooh, you got the gate open for me. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, I've... No, why? Oh, you think you're stronger than me. Oh, they always did that. It was so fun. They would all be like, please, stop it. What are you? Oh, so it's a fight you want. And so, at an old man's behest, the stick figure raised its frail limbs to limply push onward. The hero's journey, too arduous for its meager pixels, would prove a humorous... Bad guy. Oh, God. All right, the scale of the game was very small up until five seconds ago. Suddenly, lust. I'm not reading all these. <laughs> Can we, so somebody, can we please do an allergy poll? Okay, yeah. How many people here are allergic to peanuts? That sounds fun. That's not really fun, but how many people are allergic to peanuts in chat? Uh, 95%, okay, so 5% of the audience here is allergic to peanuts. That's kind of interesting. What about shellfish? Uh, yeah. How many people here are allergic to shellfish? 5% again. Damn. Okay. Do lactose intolerance. Do lactose intolerance. 
You know, I, I feel like lactose intolerance is going to be pretty high. All right, one more. Are you lactose intolerant? That's a shitload of people that are lactose. Homeland, 25%? 26% is lactose intolerant? I just lost those souls, but this is an incredibly eye-opening experience to see this. 25% said lactose intolerant. I actually, I haven't had that much milk. And, and uh, you know, I'm full of shit. And I know I'm full of shit. So I can tell you that before we talk about this. But I'm one of those, well, let's be real. I'm going to be honest. So I'm one of those people that says I don't take in that much dairy. Like, no, I don't take in that much dairy anymore. You know, I, I oat milk, I, I drink oat milk and I put oat milk in my coffee. I still eat a shitload of cheese. I still eat a ton of fucking ice cream. I'm full of shit. Right? And it sucks. It, I, because I, I really do want, you know, I, I try to get you. And I don't want to, I want to, I'm eating, I'm trying to eat better. You know, trying to get cut out dairy. Dairy is just, I don't know, it feels like bad for my skin. And But how do you, how do you replace cheese? Like how? And I've tried the cheese alternatives and they are not good. They are not good. Let's be real. I've tried a bunch of them. A, a, a sharp cheddar cheese. Oh my god. Like I you I don't it can never be replaced. If they figure it out, I'm willing to try. I am. I'm very willing to try it. But like an extremely sharp cheddar cheese. Oh no. I it's can it's it's irreplaceable. But milk, uh no. If there's one thing that I can tell you that I have absolutely completely cut out of my entire diet, it's just it's regular milk. It's just no. No thanks. Something about it now even that like, kind of grosses me out. Like, I still eat meat and everything. Like, I don't know. Just eat what you like. And just try to be conscious of just, you know, just be conscious. And all things in moderation, Ben Frank Ben Franklin was the smartest fucking person to ever live. I've said that a thousand times on this stream. Ben Franklin is the smartest man ever. So listen to Ben Franklin. All things in moderation. Don't eat steak every day. You can have it. Have it when you feel like it. You don't have to eat it every single day. Don't chug milk every day. You, Ben Franklin wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Watch it be like Ben Franklin was like a huge proponent of drinking milk every day. All things in moderation, except of course for milk. All Americans should be drinking at least two gallons of milk a day. And those of you that disagree, are, I'm dead. I gotta pay attention. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna read that. Because I disagree. Ben Franklin is no. I, I refuse to say it because I don't believe you. I don't believe it. I refuse to say it. No, I'm not even going to manifest that. No, I'm not going to even manifest it. Because no, I refuse to give that. I'm not going to even say that. I will say it. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. Ben Franklin is not in hell. The person that said that timed them up for five minutes. You said Ben Franklin's in hell. And no, I'm sorry. I don't believe you. Why is Ben Franklin in hell? No, I, I, and I said it out loud. And now I don't know what to do. No, that's not real. Nope. Ben Franklin's not in hell. <laughs> I have 1,500 souls on the ground. And you've lost them. You lost them. I didn't. Benjamin Franklin had a milk punch. He was a milk punch aficionado. It serves 12 people. Six cups of brandy, 11 lemons, two cups lemon juice, four cups water, three-fourths cups sugar, one whole nutmeg, plus extra nutmeg for garnish, three cups whole milk, one remove peel from all 11 lemons with a vegetable peeler, taking care to remove only the yellow part. So he like, all right, but he probably, all right, but he probably only drank like two glasses of that. He got to the end of one, and he was like, ah, that was delicious. Mm, I guess I'll have another. Mmm, delicious milk punch. Okay, ah, that's another milk punch down. I've had enough. All things in moderation. And he just dumped the rest down the sink or something. You know what I mean? Or he like, he like gave it to other people. He like gave it to like a bunch of other people. He didn't drink it all. All things in moderation. <laughs> He's in hell. He's in hell. <laughs> so it's so I gotta play this game. I gotta play this game. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I need to fucking relax. 
I need to <laughs> Pull if he's in hell or not. Fine, the last poll you're gonna get the whole night. Is Ben Franklin in hell? Yes or no? 11 lemons and two cups of lemon juice. What? Yeah, what a weird fucking recipe. I do not, I, I do, I would say do not drink that. Why did we get here? We were just asking if you had a peanut allergy. Now, now we need to, is, now we're talking about Ben Franklin in hell? No, do, all right, so 5% of you have a peanut allergy. That's interesting stuff. Ben Franklin is definitely at least in purgatory. I love how somebody just said, it has been ruled. What? Why we don't get to decide that? What do you mean it has been ruled? Democracy. Just democracy manifest. It's what Ben Franklin would have wanted. Ben Franklin could be sitting on like a cloud somewhere. And like God just kind of knocks on the door. Hey Ben! Don't want to interrupt or anything, but uh, there seems to be a poll going on in this weird fucking weirdo's channel. Uh, German 985. Uh, probably... You'd be You'd never heard of him before, but, um, so they're voting to s determine whether you go to hell, whether you're in hell or not, and you're gonna have to, I mean, you know, democracy manifest, right? Nice family guy bit. Hey, other, other pieces of media can reference God talking to people in purgatory, okay? It's not just family guy. Although that is, a fa that would happen on family guy. It'd be like God, it'd be like, hey, oh, excuse me, Benjamin Franklin, whatever. Like, you don't act like you didn't laugh at a Family Guy joke before. Don't act like you never laughed at Family Guy. You're full of fucking, you're full of baloney. You're full of baloney. I know you're full of baloney. You have laughed at a Family Guy joke before, you're full of baloney. And yes, ironic Peter Griffin memes count. Ironic Peter Griffin memes count. You're full of baloney. Family Guy has good jokes, but a lot of bad ones. Sure. But you still laughed at it. You were sitting there on the couch. And it was like, oh, Lois, remember the time that I met Ben Franklin in hell? And it played out, and you went, <laughs> and covered your mouth and went, fuck! No, no! Uh, no. <clears throat> Have you found any answers yet, fledgling? Or any new questions? You walk the hero's path, but you do not quite fit the hero's mold. Perhaps that will serve you. Are you here to save us? Or are you part of our doom? To understand where your path leads, you must understand its origin. Nostalgia chose you. So listen to her relics. Oops. <laughs> wow. He didn't even need the bench. This is this is him just completely asserting how strong of a character he really is. Uh, hero will come. A hero will come, leave my door, a hero will come. <laughs> they almost just killed me. A hero did a hero did come, but not the one you wanted. Who is there? Be you a hero? <laughs> my beloved. One's in the chat if you know what that is. Friend ahead, okay. No, 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 no. I, I, I cannot let you in. I, I love you too much. My everything, my stars. We cannot risk it. No, no, no. Unless, should you come upon something with which I could restrain myself in your presence, a, 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 a manacle or, or, or a shackle uh -huh. of some fidelity, bring it to me so I shan't. <coughs> you unduly. Then I would open my door and serve you. What? How about I just put a fucking landmine right here? Ooh, the smith's hammer. Such ruin. Such waste. What did you find? Are you a hero? I, I, I'm an apprentice smith, or I was meant to be. I've sought some memory of Nostalgia's craft and tradition, but all I've found is forgotten. Hmm. With no masters to teach me, I'll never become a smith. But you could work on my gear. But that ain't no crude tool, friend. It's the smith's hammer. 
the instrument of Nostalgia's greatest craftsfolk. <laughs> Any apprentice would know it, even in its current state. A shame it don't remember itself. Hmm. <gasps> it can remember. Remember. Overhead smash. Increased damage to armored. Oh. Can you use this now? Jesus. Ow. What did you do? I ain't worthy. I'll do my utmost to honor and carry forth our traditions. The hammer has bound itself to me or bound me to it. My skills are meager. But should you find a workable anvil, you can use this relic to summon me. I'll improve your arms best I can. Hmm. Okay. The smith's hammer is the greatest relic of Nostalgia's craftsfolk, transcending all who swing it. It's the primordial repository of our art. Such legacy. Of course, it still clings to some memory. Throughout the cycles, each of Nostalgia's masters wielded the hammer to enhance relics for our heroes. I've always longed to be a smith, to be a part of that. Hmm. Anything else? Miners in the cliffs above Orsha once excavated and readied great repositories of ore. Lore. Should you find an anvil there with enough fidelity for my craft, limited as my skills may be, might even find a lingering master there. Ain't much likely, but a little hope is something. <laughs> Miners in Shri Lim might ain't much. Wait, it's the it's the same. Hold on. My it but <laughs> Oh, I. <laughs> It's the same, right? Miners in should limits might even ain't much like. Oh no, the chuckle is at the end. It's part of the last pit. Oh, it's different. It is different. Okay, well. What the fuck is that? Uh. Okay. Golly gosh! Look at you! You really are retro, huh? Neat. I'm the Reservoir of Pain. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> It's difficult to know who you can trust. I, I get that. Cryptic old men who can't remember their purpose. Forgotten relics wailing on about their tortured memories. And nobody telling you exactly what to do. You've been left to figure things out for yourself. And that's terrible. So, let me help. Nostal Guy was a godlet. Where heroes I want to R1 so bad. <laughs> suffer a bit, unfortunately, and then sacrifice themselves back to the world's heart so that new stories could begin. These new stories were inspired by what came before. They built on the beauty of the past. But heroes quit letting go. They grew obsessed with maintaining their dominance, living their own legacies, and without new inspiration, Nostalgia is being forgotten. Anywho, if selfish heroes won't give themselves back willingly, a real hero will have to make them let go. Then, Nostalgia's heart will open again. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the first great oh no he likes it. it oh it hurts oh yeah it hurts oh fuck you oh my god all right i'm leaving <laughs> uh, oh i can take it oh i can take it leave i'm gonna leave now i got a lot of stuff Wait. I can bring that back to that uh, that guy. Oh, it's happiness. <laughs> Alright. Are you ready? Clink, clink, clink. <laughs> My hero returns. 
I don't know if I want this person to hang out with me. A hero provides. My hero provides. Okay. Ah, my hero. You got like traps in here or something. I'm, I'm gonna get killed or something. Welcome to my shop. It's a shopkeeper. Okay. That was cool. That was worth coming back here for. <gasps> You've got a magical enchanted pickaxe. This is some Minecraft shit right here, and he's gonna kill me in one hit. Swing! Swing it! Swing it, please! Fuck you! Oh my god. Oh no. That was a weird animation. <laughs> I don't know where this is! <laughs> Shit. Do you have any tips? I just started the game. Um, it's pretty fun. It's, it's, I would, hold on. I, okay. Do you have any tips? It's fun! That was, yeah, that was not a good tip. I apologize for that bad tip. I'll give you a real tip, though. <laughs> Dodge rolling is your friend. <laughs> hey. Dodge rolling is your friend. <laughs> uh, this is a dangerous room. I don't know. There are two NPCs. There is nothing to fear. Your lack of caution is what I fear. I would never fear that. Shh. Someone's coming. I might have to fight these people. <laughs> Hello. You don't look like the forgotten we've been slaughtering. Don't look like much of anything. <laughs> like we should criticize? <laughs> true, true. What a ridiculously rendered three are we. <laughs> Take our company, friend. I call myself Nameless Nero. My companion is the Lady Sko Pika. Just Sko, please. Nero's titles don't fit. We are pondering a most dubious task. A quest, I like to think. We don't have to be reckless to prove our worth. Ah, but we must when the world is filled Assassin's with Creed Unity, Your girl. That's funny. I can see the latent heroism in their stature. Not unlike my own. Would you help us, stranger? This quest might give my friend the value he needs. Shh! Rally your bravery, Sko. I do not need aid, but I welcome a compatriot always. I'll do it. There is a creature down this corridor <laughs> that seems not of this story. The lady is fascinated, while I see cause to vanquish without question. That okay. it is evil is a thing we agree upon wholeheartedly. So, I give you this quest. Well, actually, I share it. I, uh, gave it to myself first. Are you ready to face the unknown at our side? What about- I don't have any heals. I knew it. Come, my allies, for today we prove our worth. Let's go! You can do it! Suddenly, victory! Holy shit, we have what is this? Alright, you guys fight it. That hurt a lot. Help them. I'm do you understand any spells I'm casting? We did it! We did it? We We did it! We're incredible! In nameless Nero, you have made an ally. Henceforth, <laughs> our paths towards heroism are entwined. It's gonna make me laugh every time. For I have no doubt. Oh, I uh, know it was a quest, but I didn't really plan a reward. Um, ah, it's not much. That sucks. But it is a token of my esteem. We shall be the forms the future follows. That sucked. 
You kill me through the door, I'm gonna be very upset about it. <laughs> Can I close the door? Uh, I'm in a- I'm dead. I am dead here. Ah! No! He turned around so quickly. I thought I had like another half second. The shrine was right there. Ah! Uh, Alright. Dude, that's mad embarrassing. Okay, then it was... Over here? And then... Over here? And then this way, and then down here, and then this way, and then down. Wait, there's this weird person down here. I forgot. Uh oh. God. <laughs> I'm down here with the fucking Minecraft guy. 5,000 souls about to be deleted. Uh, wait, I can cheese the hell out of this. Where are my weapons? Where are my- what's going on with my weapons? They're all getting- <laughs> I was hoping just for a crit and just kill like three or four of them in a row. Fuck. Ah, whatever. Enemies ahead. Alright, I'm not reading them anymore. Spoilers. Poet. Help. Ah, you're gonna come help me fight. I get you. I feel like there's consequences for each one of these. Tether? I can tether to him? I don't know what that means. Sure, why not? Together. Oh. Hero, we together. You coming? Oh, that's a lot of people. Are you coming or what? The grinder? What is it? Who are these people supposed to be? What's that guy naked? Who are these people? Can we do it? Uh... What on earth is that? Let's go! Holy shit, that was so much easier <laughs> than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> that was so simple. Oh no, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke? What? One hit, one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit! Got it. And he stayed alive. The legendaric? Thanks for the help. Actually, really thanks for the help, because that probably would have been really hard. Why? Why would you even help? <gasps> Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's shut up. <laughs> you did it! You really, really did it! <laughs>
You're opening up Nostal Gaia's heart. All you have to do now is kill the other three great ones. <laughs> Nostal Gaia has been suffering because no one was removing her pain except me. <laughs> I try to lift some of the burden from those who carry too gosh darn much, but actions speak louder than words. Well, you're a hero. You, you get that. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I can take it. Oh, oh. All right, no more of that. No more of that. I just didn't, didn't know. All right, what about here? I just said, what a freak. <laughs> what? you talking about me? 25 luck. 15 stamina. What a madman. What a madman. Suddenly. Choo choo. Uh, do I. Well, that. Okay. Maryland crabs are fantastic. I bet you they are. I can't say I've ever had a crab from Maryland. New England had a lot of great seafood, though. Northeast had plenty of that, though. So, I mean, I, I kind of already got that experience. But did you have them with an old lady? Does that make it better? No, I, have, I did not eat any crabs with any old ladies. Now, is this old lady... Uh, pressuring me to use a certain sauce that I don't want to use. No, 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 you've put, put some of that, put, put that on there. Put it, you, yeah, I gotta put on more than that. I'll try it. No, there's not enough on there. Put, no, no, let me see. Let me, let me do it. Can you do a live yoga stream? Dude, I'd pull a muscle. And I would have to get taken out in a stretcher. So, then, no. I would definitely be... Oh, here we go. It's time. We got like a whole room full of people and like there's like 30, there's like 20 people in the yoga class, whatever. Oh, and there's the yoga instructor and we're going to do a bunch of made up yoga moves that aren't real. And that's like funny. But at about 10 minutes into that stream, I'm going to go. Oh, now we're going to do, um, you know, uh, the, the twisted turkey. And it's going to be some dumb move and I'm going to do it and I'm going to, you're going to see, I'm going to go. Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. And I'm going to roll over on my back. And then we're going to go to a BRB screen for 25 minutes. And then it's going to come back and there's going to be me being taken on a stretcher. And somebody from the crew or somebody else that was there is going to be like, hey, sorry, everybody. But like he pulled a fucking, he like tore a muscle on his knee or something or his leg. And yeah, we're going to have to stop the stream. Like, see you next time. I don't know. He's probably got to get go to the doctor or something. Make it Bugleberry's Haunted Yoga. Just a bunch of demons. People dressed up in like weird, like fucking monster costumes. <laughs> like in the middle of the yoga class. Just the, the door fucking bursts open. Or like bursts down. And there's somebody like an adventurer being chased by like a giant dragon or something. Or two or three enemies and just fighting in the middle of yoga. And Bugleberry doesn't give a shit. Nobody pays attention to it at all. It's just shit is going down. I don't know where we are. Like these monsters like kill the adventurer and just start like just start like eating them. We're not even paying attention. Like this just happens in this world in this world. Do you like uh crepes? I do. I'm a fan. I don't remember the last time I ate a crepe. But they're very good. You know what? I like somebody might call me a weirdo for this, but I don't think they will. I like savory crepes more than sweet crepes. Please don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! I just, you, you reared your fist back. You were gonna punch me. I just saw you do that. And relax. What's what's wrong with you? Oh shit! It's you. Oh my friend, I am a failure. What happened? They do not want me. Look at me. They do not want any of us. Merely heroes are we. The unproven. The unnamed. We follow in the footsteps of the greatest protagonists ever conceived. Why, I wondered, to fail. I now realize we are only here to confirm our lack of value. 
It wasn't I who vanquished the darkness in those mines. We both know it. On the balconies above, I faced a foe I could not best. She was fast and filled with conviction. Though I did not recognize her story, she threw me down with the skill of someone whose story should be well known. I can handle Lady it. Sko and I were separated when I charged into the confrontation. Be wary if you go forth. I will stay here to be forgotten. The nothing that I am. Bro, do you have any idea how much money I've put into this game? This sword alone is worth probably fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars. I'm gonna be just fine. You wish to uplift me? <laughs> A heroic quest in itself. It's futile, friend. I am no hero. Whoa, wait a minute. I have a shield of inspiration. Should I give it to him? Yeah, sure. What is that? A relic you would have me remember myself through. But it can't even remember itself. You wish <laughs> it's few. Okay, so I need to remember the shield. Heart flow altar. So that's in the first area. So I have to get the memory from the shield, bring it back here, give it to this guy. Should I go look for it? That's way back. Too much work. Well, I feel like this is part two of this quest, and I kind of feel like I want to do it. Yeah, why not? I want to do it. I have no idea where I'm going. Can somebody just tell me? Uh, can somebody give me exact directions? And I'm talking like walk forward five seconds, turn left, walk forward five seconds, turn right, walk forward ten seconds to get me all the way back. All right. Here we are. And shit. We're in this zone. Right here. Yep. Remember. Very cool. Alright, so now I, I can... How do I teleport back? Alright, here we go. You wish to uplift me? <laughs> it's few... Here. What is... That? For me? This is... Thank you. Thank you, fellow hero. We are heroes. We, we together. Junior Our hero. company defines us. Yes, I am the great self-named nameless Nero. As with my title, so too am I the determiner of my actions. Thank you, friend. I shall don this with pride. For was it not I who vanquished the darkness deep within the mines? <laughs> Ah. It's true. You did do that. Soon I shall resume my quest. I will be immortalized in the pantheon of heroes. You'll be there too, I think. Hope so. Soon I you'll be... Alright, we make progress. See you in the next uh, random spot you're going to be standing. Hey, I'm currently watching this on a roller coaster. Can you please keep it up? Like, turn it up. Watching like YouTube shorts on a roller coaster is, I think, peak 2023, don't you think? I mean, this is not a YouTube short, but you know, you get it. Watching a Twitch stream is like, no. What do you think? It's a gamer joke. Why'd you say YouTube shorts? Because you, know, you guys watch YouTube shorts, don't you? No. Is YouTube shorts the not cool one? You guys watch TikTok? Yes, yes. Oh. Fuck. Uh to be relatable to the, to the younger generation and I screwed it up. It's when, you know, my buddy stopped watching the stream. L plus you fell off. I just imagine you sitting in a Discord call with like a friend. You're both watching the stream and this friend is just like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of German anymore. Nah, I like I'm out of here. Maybe like, if you want to play like fucking like I have of Apex, whatever the fucking game is. Um, just let me know tomorrow or whatever. And I, I you know what? I, it's hard to talk and play at the same time a game like this. So never mind. But why would you be? Uh, 
Never mind. Alavag. <laughs> Alavex. I don't even know what I said. There's a gun. Your job is to talk and play games. You know how, how hard it is to talk and do anything? Hey, you know what? My job is whatever I want it to be. How does that sound? Sometimes I have to, sometimes I do a comb stream where I just comb my hair. Is that a video game? No. Sometimes I, I, you know, I'm on camera doing something. Is that playing a game? No. He's rebelling. Yes. Yeah, I am. Yeah, let's go. I'm rebelling. Scope cutter. Wait. Oh, it's the Assassin's Creed Unity prison. You have a different weapon. Peculiar world, isn't it? Nero confronted a woman upon the tower behind us. He fell, but he wasn't broken. What? The being he fought was... I'm not sure. I think she's connected to something larger. She's not forgotten, that's for sure. Though I worry for Nero, I think it's time our paths diverge. Oh no. I met a creature. It called itself the Reservoir of Pain. It had a generous smile, but a heavy heart. It gave me this blade as a gift. I think it feels Nostalgia's suffering in a profound way, but also yearns to ease that suffering. Huh. I can imagine nothing more heroic. Can you? I need to wear better clothes. I look like a fucking dickhead. Sometimes I feel to try and understand it all, like like a finger staring at its hand or its arm or its whole body. A thing trying to glean its purpose from the thing it is a part of. Though my body lacks much sense at all, so perhaps I've spun a futile metaphor. Voice work is really good in this game. Actually pretty surprising that it is, considering it's, you know, sometimes that's the last thing that like an indie developer thinks about is stuff like that, but it's very, very, very good. Everything's very well done. Feels very good to play. I can imagine a lot of times if you're an indie game developer and you make this game and it's like, oh shit, I have to, I have to hire a bunch of voice acting, or you know, however it works, I guess. It's like an expense. Okay, Roger Ebert, play the game. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm j I am. What are you talking about? I'm so uh, that tells it me so much. Oh, hey, isn't it your isn't it your job to play games? Let's talk about like something in the industry. Uh, hey, no, don't do that. Don't do. I want I want to hear you say anything about that. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna die because I'm not paying attention. I'm dead. I'm dead, and I blame that person for that. Sometimes this stream feels like how long can 10,000 people bully a 40-year-old man till he turns his stream off?